This video will cover the parts and actions needed to load your D60 vinyl cutter with material. Before we begin, you will need a roll of media and the two media flanges that were included with your cutter. First, let's get familiar with the back of your machine. Locate the two long silver media support rollers. The roller closest to the machine is stationary, while the outer roller can be moved to four different positions depending on the size of media you are using. You should also see three black plastic pieces on the rear roller. The first two are called roller guides and can be moved from side to side. Each one has a groove or channel which holds the media flange. The roller guides, along with the media flanges, help keep your material aligned properly as it feeds through the machine. The third black piece is located at the end of the bar. This piece does not move and acts as a brake. Now place your roll of material with the media flanges inserted in the roller guides. Make sure the media rollers are in the same position on both sides. If they aren't, your material will not feed properly. Let's move around to the front of your machine. You will see four gold grit rollers, three smaller and one larger roller to the far right. These along with your media selects are what grab the material and pull it through. Above each gold roller is a white arrow, which indicates where it is when material is loaded over it. Finally, take a look at the media selects and cutting head. The media selects are solid metal and hold small rubber rollers called pinch rollers. Just as the name suggests, these rollers pinch the material between itself and the gold grit rollers as the material passes through the machine and are also what keep your material from getting off track. The left media select moves back and forth and clicks into place directly over the smaller gold grit rollers. The right media select is typically placed somewhere over the larger roller on the right side. The media selects are raised and lowered using the lever arm located on the far right at the rear of the machine. Both media selects and the cutting head can be moved back and forth manually while the media selects are in the up position. Once the media selects are lowered, they become stationary and cannot be moved. Do not try to move the media selects once they are lowered, as this could damage your equipment. Now we are ready to load the media. First raise the media selects by placing the lever in the down position. Move the head out of the way so you can see both media selects clearly. Slide the left media select above one of the smaller grit rollers. Don't worry if it's in the correct positioning yet, any position will do. The right media select should be locked into the far right position. Feed your material through the cutter until you can physically hold the front edge. Move the material left or right until the left edge of the media is even with the outer left edge of the media select. This will allow the pinch roller to come down on the material approximately one quarter inch or half a centimeter from the edge of the media. Next, look at the far right side of your media. The right edge needs to land somewhere over the large gold grit roller. If it does, your left media select is positioned correctly for the width of your media. If not, you will need to move the left media select one white arrow to the left or right and realign your material. Once you have your material positioned so that the right edge lands somewhere over the large grit roller, move the right media select so the far right edge is lined up with the right edge of your material. Then gently pull the front of the material so it is taut and removes any excess in bubbling. With the material taut, lower the media selects by raising the lever arm. 
Your material is now loaded. Thank you.